Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another grocery haul and meal plan. So today is Sunday morning and I just got back from Walmart grocery pickup, which is why I'm out here in the garage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get everything unloaded and I'll show you what groceries I got at the end of the video. I'll show you my meal plan and then I'll also have a printable PDF meal plan that's available down in the description box if you want to click on that link print it out and then if there are any recipes that I've used that are online I'll link those as well so let's head inside and I'll show you what I got this week all right so here's a look at everything that I got this week I kind of had to stock up on um, a lot of produce because I was out of town this week and we were out of a lot of stuff so I spent 100 around 170 dollars at, at Walmart for grocery pickup and then I also had to go to Hy-Vee for a couple things and spent about $20 there so I'll start with the produce first um, I got a bag of lemons I like to keep these in the refrigerator both for recipes and for drinks and we were all out of those um, I grabbed a bag of potatoes one night this week I'm gonna make beef stew in the crock pot so I needed potatoes for that um, I also got some peaches four of those and then two mangoes I probably would have liked to pick riper mangoes if I would have picked them out myself, but these are fine. Um, I grabbed some kiwis. Kira likes to have those cut up for snacks and lunches and breakfast during the week. Um, two onions, one red onion and one yellow onion. Both of those are for recipes. And then a bag of um, tomatoes just for sandwiches and burgers. I got one jal or jalapeno, ha, pineapple. Um, I just usually like to cut this up and we'll have it in the refrigerator to use um, for lunches and breakfast and stuff during the week and then too sometimes if I make a smoothie I'll put some cut up pineapple in there. Um, I grabbed a couple of plums. I haven't bought plums in a long time but I think Adam really likes those so I just got three of those. I got a bag of cuties. Um, the grapes this week were pricey and they had these bags of cuties on sale for four bucks and so these last for usually a pretty long time in the um, refrigerator, so I'll have these on hand, and then the kids can take them for lunches um, in their, you know, in their lunchbox for school. Now that school's started again, I just grabbed four bananas. If I buy more than this, usually they just go brown, and we don't eat them all. So I just got four. Um, I got some cilantro for a recipe, and then I actually ordered the pack of three bell peppers so like one orange one red and one yellow but they didn't have that so they just substituted these three which is totally fine um, I got some romaine lettuce so I'll wash this up and we'll use that for salads some green beans for a side for dinner this week um, one head of iceberg lettuce for sandwiches and then I also got some green onions um, for an egg bite recipe two pounds of strawberries I'm actually going to try a recipe for um, fruit dip with protein powder and Greek yogurt. Um, so I thought that the strawberries would be good with that. And then I got one package of blackberries and then some mini cucumbers. I kind of go back and forth between like the big cucumbers and the mini ones, but I decided to go with those this week. And I think the last thing for produce I got was a bag of baby carrots. Um, I'll use these with hummus and then also in the beef stew recipe. All right, so we have um, some regular milk in the fridge. So this week I went ahead and got the unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Um, I have a few recipes that I'll use this in. Um, I can use it in my coffee or use it um, in smoothies too. So I wish they had actually a smaller um, container than this at Walmart, but they don't. This is the half gallon container. Sometimes we don't go through all this and I end up throwing it out, but that's the smallest one that they have. Um, for my egg bites, I got some 1% cottage cheese. I actually got the smaller container. I won't need all this, but they didn't have it, so they substituted the larger one. Um, I grabbed some sour cream. We we're almost out of that. And then I don't think that I've tried this before, but I've seen other people get it and say that it's good. It's the Bolt House Farms Classic Ranch Yogurt Dressing. So it's lower in calories and fat than like regular Hidden Valley, and I'm trying to make some uh, substitutions to cut down on fat and calories and different things that I'm buying this week. So um, if you guys have tried this before, let me know, but I've heard that it's good. Uh, I got some baked beans. Tomorrow is Labor Day, and I think I'm just gonna plan on doing like hamburgers and hot dogs um, for dinner. So I grabbed some baked beans to go with that. Um, I got a bottle of fat-free 
Italian dressing. This is for a recipe that I'm making that you guys will see in a meal prep video. Um, I had to go to Hy-Vee to get the tahini. I'm going to make some homemade hummus this week, which I've made lots of times before, um, and I was all out of tahini, so I grabbed that. I got some tomato sauce. Uh, one jar of jalapeno peppers. We usually like to keep these in the fridge and we were all out. Uh, I got a can of black beans, a can of light coconut milk. This is for a curry recipe that I'm going to meal prep. Some black olives, um, a couple different soups. So um, the recipe that I use for beef stew, I can it will be linked um, in the meal plan, but it uses cream of celery and cream of chicken soup, which I realize is kind of weird, but it's a crock pot beef stew recipe and it tastes really good so I grabbed that and then Connor said he wanted grilled cheese and tomato soup for lunch today so I got two cans of tomato soup one can of diced tomatoes for a recipe one can of black eyed peas for a recipe and then some uh, bay leaves because I was all out of those too all right I can't remember if I said honey or not but I did get some honey um, for a recipe and then uh, Connor picked out cereal this week so uh, he picked out Cocoa Pebbles and Honey Nut Cheerios. We won't go through both of these in a whole week, but we'll have those in the pantry for a couple weeks for uh, breakfast if the kids want those before school. Uh, so for my hummus this week, I am going to attempt to make it with dried chickpeas. I found a recipe um, on YouTube that cooks the chickpeas in the Instant Pot, so I'm going to try those and see if I can tell any difference between that and just the canned chickpeas. I grabbed some onion soup mix. This is for the beef stew recipe. And then I've really been liking this True Lime Black Cherry Limeade. This is really good if you shake it up um, with some ice water. It's really like refreshing and I love anything with like cherry limeade flavor. So I've been liking that. Um, okay, so I did get some Activia yogurt. This is just the plain vanilla flavor. Um, I like to have this on hand either for myself for breakfast or sometimes the kids will eat it um, with some fruit or a granola bar before school. Um, I also got some of the Chobani, um, just the plain Greek yogurt. I needed this for a couple different recipes, so I went ahead and just got the large container of that. Um, for coffee creamer, um, I ordered a larger container of half and half, but they didn't have it, so they substituted these two small ones. Uh, I got a package of fully cooked bacon just to have on hand to have on sandwiches. I think one night this week we're just going to have sandwiches for dinner, like sub sandwiches or wraps or something. Um, so that's quick and easy to do if you want to do like a BLT or I also got this um, shaved turkey to have. So if you want to have like turkey bacon sandwich, that's a quick way to do it. And then I got some of this thin Sargento Colby Jack cheese. These are obviously less calories than regular sliced cheese, so I decided we would try those. I've actually had these before, but it's been a long time since I bought them. I got loaf of bread. That is uh, the kind of bread that I like to keep on hand for sandwiches. Uh, and then at, I actually should have got this from Walmart, but I forgot to put it on my pickup order. This is like the Simply Ice sparkling drinks. So Hy-Vee had these 10 for $8, which is actually a little bit <laughs> expensive, but I went ahead and grabbed them there. So. Um, I got some of the coconut, kiwi strawberry, strawberry lemonade, um, grapefruit, and orange mango, and blackberry raspberry. Um, also from Walmart, I was watching one of uh, Jess O'Donohue, her uh, makeup video last night on YouTube, and I realized that I did not have a good foundation brush, so um, I decided to order this one. This is the Eco Tools brand. Um, from Walmart so I think this is around $15 so I grabbed that and then I can't find my tweezers um, and so I picked up another um, pair of these these are just like the slant tip and then they have like the little grip on them and then she also showed some different highlighters in her video and I don't really have any of those I'm not really a makeup guru I don't really do anything fancy with my makeup but um, I looked these up and decided to get these. This is the L'Oreal Lumi Glow Nude Highlighter Palette. So we'll see about that. Uh, we were running low on cough drops, so I got two bags of the hulls, just one of the menthol flavor, one of the honey lemon. Um, I did pick up just one of these smart ones. This is the che Three Cheese ZD Marinara. Sometimes I like to have these on hand for us to take to lunch. 
um, during the work week. Um, I want to make some turkey burgers this week and so I got just a package of the 93% lean um, ground turkey. We already used some of these for breakfast but these are the Thomas English muffins, the light multigrain, 100 calorie ones. So um, we just like to make breakfast sandwiches with these so obviously <laughs> we used some of those this morning for breakfast. And then I just got a bag of plain potato chips um, to have with like burgers and hot dogs tomorrow. Actually, if you take plain potato chips and dip them in baked beans, they're delicious. Um, and then for drinks, I got quite a few so I could stack up the refrigerator in the garage. I got one case of the bubbly blackberry sparkling water. This is my very favorite flavor of that. It's really good with the lime squeezed in it. I got some uh, caffeine-free Diet Pepsi, two packages of the sparkling hy flavored water. Um, we really like the cherry limeade flavor and also the peach flavor, so I got two of those. Uh, one 12 pack of Diet Mountain Dew, this is caffeine free. Um, and then Connor has started doing more baseball and soccer practices, and so I've been keeping Gatorade um, on hand for him to take to that. This is the Gatorade Zero in the Glacier Cherry. Um, so that is everything I got for groceries this week. I'm going to get some of this put away and then I'll show you the meal plan. All right, so let me show you what is on the meal plan for this week. Um, Saturday, we are just going to do like some football food because uh, the Hawkeyes are playing. So I'm going to do little Smokies and barbecue sauce and some mac and cheese and jalapeno poppers. Um, Sunday, I'm not sure if this will happen or not because we do have a birthday party to go to, but I'm planning to do grilled salmon and chicken um, with cauliflower rice. Uh, pasta salad for Adam and the kids and then um, a side salad. Uh, Monday I am planning to do burgers and hot dogs on the grill because it is Labor Day. Um, I also have some baked beans I can make. I have corn on the cob. We have chips. Um, I do have some cucumbers from my neighbor that I wanted to try making a cucumber salad so I may do that and then I might make deviled eggs. I'm not sure. I was kind of just writing options down there to see um, what sounded good. Um, Thursday, or I'm sorry, Tuesday, I'm planning to do Park City Stew. That is a slow cooker um, beef stew recipe that I've been making for years. I'll post the link to that in the meal plan. And then on the side, we'll have green beans and then bread and butter. Um, Wednesday, I'm going to do a home chef meal. So this is raspberry chipotle turkey meatballs. Um, so I'm excited to try this. And then there's roasted Brussels sprouts on the side. I may make um, like some garlic bread or noodles or something to go with this. I'm not sure yet, um, but I do get Home Chef every so often, and I'm not sponsored or anything. Um, it's just something that I like to do because it helps kind of take uh, some of the thought process out of meal planning for me, and sometimes I get bored <laughs> meal planning, so um, it just encourages me to try new things. Um, I do have a coupon code you guys can use if you want to try Home Chef. I'll leave a link in my description box below, but you can get your first uh, box $30 off, which is half price, so you can get three meals for $30, bucks. pretty good deal. And Thursday, we have baseball games, so I'm planning on just taking sandwiches or lettuce wraps to uh, the baseball fields with fruit and chips. Uh, Friday, Connor has a soccer game, so after that's over, we'll either go out or order pizza. So that is the uh, meal plan for this week. Don't forget, I'll have a link to the uh, printable one down below, as well as links to any of these recipes um, if they are found online. So thank you so much for watching this week's grocery haul and meal plan, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.